Okay, so um, again, so we, inshallah, we'll start today's class with uh, our prayers for learning and teaching the Holy Quran. These prayers are very important. We should try to remember them as much as possible and try to recite them every time we are reading the Holy Quran because there is a blessing in these prayers for us. Uh, not only in the Holy Quran, when we are learning anything new, even in our worldly knowledge, if we use these prayers regularly, we will learn them very, very quickly. So let me just start with this first prayer. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytani rajim. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Rabbi zidani ilma. I'm sure a lot of you know these this prayer from your parents. You've probably been taught it at a very young age. Rabbi zidani ilma. Oh my Lord, increase me in knowledge. So we read this prayer also yesterday. Today we are going to start with this first prayer, which is on this page. Rabbishrahli sadri. If you can all repeat, even if I can't hear you, it's very important that you repeat the prayer. Rabbishrahli sadri. Wa yassirli amri. I am now going to hand the mic to um, A13. A13, can you hear me? Hello, L1A13, can you hear me? Assalamualaikum. Wa alaikum assalam, how are you today? Peek. Alhamdulillah, very good. Did you, did you hear just now when I re recited this first prayer? Anji. Good, well done. Can you read the English underneath for me, please? Just the first uh, line up to where my uh, arrow is here. Okay. Lord, expand my mind and m make my task easy for me. Excellent. Well done. Beautiful reading. So this is very important because the task at the moment that we are all undertaking is the task of trying to learn the beautiful words of Allah, 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 which is in the Holy Quran, Allah Fazl. Okay, so you've read very, very nicely. Shabash, Jazakallah. Can you also read the translation of the prayer underneath? Oh my Lord, in Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Oh my Lord, uh, increase me in knowledge. Jazakallah, well done. And this is taken from Surah Taha which I think we explained yesterday as well. Jazakallah, thank you very much. Okay, so yesterday in the class, we um, had an introductory class to the different Arabic letters, which all make up the alphabet of the Holy Quran. Now, let me see, who can I choose that can tell me how many letters there are in the Holy Quran? Um, will you tell me, A13, please, how many letters are there in the, Holy, in the, in the Arabic alphabet? Uh, there are 29 letters in the alphabet. Excellent. Well done. Good memory from yesterday. Shabash. So yesterday you looked at the, all of the individual letters in the alphabet. So today what we are going to do is we are going to look at how these letters are joined to make different words in the Arabic language. So just like when we put letters together in the English language, we make new words. So the same goes in the Arabic language. We put the letters together and they make new words. The thing with the Arabic language that we really have to concentrate on is that sometimes the shape of these letters take a different shape. So depending on where that letter is in the word, if it is at the beginning of the word, in the middle of the word, or at the end of the word, the shape of the letter may look slightly different. Some letters don't change, change their shape at all. Okay? Do you know any letter that doesn't change the shape, A13? Um, fa? Fa? Fa might change the shape, but good guess. Well done. Just shabash. Excellent. Okay, I'm going, to, I'm, I'm going to mute you at the moment. And we're going to tell you a little bit more about the shape of the letters and then I'll ask somebody else to help. Okay. So if you can see on the side in blue letters, 
we have all the original shapes of the first five letters of the Arabic alphabet. Okay, so as we can see, this is Alif, Ba, Ta, Tha, and Jim. Now, let me choose another student today. Uh, Assalamu alaikum, A14. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Assalamu alaikum, A14. Can you hear me? Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Um, you can hear me clearly? Yes, Jazakala, well done. Okay, so I want you to look at where I have my uh, hand today. Can you see yes. which letter that is? Yes. Which Alif. letter is that? Alif, excellent, well done. Now, can you tell me, does the shape of Alif change wherever the position of the Alif is in the word? No. No, excellent. So when Alif is in a word, the shape, stays the, chain, the same, the line stays the same, okay? The one thing we need to remember about alif is when it is at the beginning of the word, we don't join it to the next letter. Can you see that? Yes. Yes? What happens when it is in the middle of a word? What do we do to the alif in the middle of the word? It joins. Excellent, well done. So it would join to the first letter. And what happens when it is at the end of the word? It joins again. Excellent, well done, it joins again. Could you read me this first line, please? What's this first line? Just the letters. You just need to read the individual letters Alif. like Alif, Ba, Alif. Dal. Alif, Ba, and Dal. Well done. Next one. Alif and Lam. Yeah, can you try and read it by yourself, please? Thank you. And the last one? Alif and Alif, Alif, Za and Alif. Excellent. Try. Well done. Can we try this letter again that we said? Which one is this? Do you know? Um... This is Kha. Okay. So can you read that again? Kha. Alif. Alif. Kha. Kha. Alif. Alif. Well done. I know we haven't looked at the, how we join Kha yet, but good try. Excellent. Well done. Can you try to read the next one for me? What's this letter? Ba. Good. Ba. But, um, um, this one? But and this is dal. Dal. Okay. Excellent. Well done. Ba, dal, and ba. Ba, da, and Hamza. Good try, well done. Can you read after me? Ba, da, Hamza. Dal, Hamza. Excellent, well done. Thank you very, very much. Well done, Shabash. Good, good effort. Okay, so if we look again now at this letter, this is Ba. Yes? So when Ba is in a word, we can see that it has one dot underneath here. And even when you join it to another letter, you have to keep that one dot underneath. The shape of the bar changes. So you just have half, the first half of the bar shape. Again, when you put bar in the middle of the word, the shape is different as well because you have this this line here, and you have the dot underneath, and the dot is what tells you that this letter is ba. 
right? At the end of the word, the bar keeps the whole original shape. So you join it like this, but the shape will stay in the original shape, okay? So if you look at the ta and the tha as well, you can see that the shape, again, in the beginning and in the middle changes slightly, but we know that it is a ta because we have the two dots. Two dots here and two dots here. At the end of the word, again, the shape will be the initial original shape and the two dots, which tell us that it is the ta. The ta also has this shape, okay? This is the ha. The ha with the two dots on top, this makes ta. Again, we look at the tha. These three letters have the same basic shape, but the number of dots is different. Okay, so that is how we will recognize these three letters. Again, this is the tha. It has the same shape, the same line as the ta and the ba, but we know it is ta because it has three dots. Again, when it is in the middle, we know it is tha because three dots. Tha has two dots and ba has one dot underneath. And again, at the end, it keeps the original shape. Okay? So, I am now going to ask another student. Let me get now a Nasra because we've already asked two uh, Atfal. Let's see, are there any other Nasrat in today? Yes, here, here is Nasrat. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum, N44, can you hear me? Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam, bete. How are you today? Good. Good. Well, that's brilliant. Alhamdulillah that you're feeling good. Did you understand everything that I just explained to you about the shape of the ba, the ta, and the tha? Yes. Yes, good, excellent, well done. So I'm going to ask you if you could do me a lovely, lovely favor and you could read some of these letters for me. Will you be able to do that? Yes. Yes, inshallah, zabadast. So can you, uh, can you read this letter where the palm, where my palm is? Can you recognize that letter? Ta. Uh. Excellent, Shabash. Do you recognize the next letter? Ra. Excellent, good. And the last letter? Ya. Well done, very good. Excellent. Now, can we try this one? Do you recognize this first letter? I haven't explained it yet, but you might want to have a try. Fa. Fa, well done, excellent. And this next letter in red? Ta. Excellent. And this last letter? Ha. Well done, Shabash. Ha. Excellent. Okay, and this last line? Ta. Fa. Excellent. And the next letter? Ta. Well done, Shabash. This, this I haven't explained yet. Do you want to try this one? You know this one? Ha. Well done, Shabash. Next letter. Ta. Ta. Excellent. Good girl. And the next word? Noon. We haven't gone over this one yet. Do you know this letter? Noon. Well done, Shabash. Noon. And this one? Seen. Good. Well done. Next letter? Wow. Wow. Excellent. And? Ta. Excellent, excellent. Shabash. Well done, Bete. That was beautifully read. Mashallah. Okay, we are now going to go to another Nasrat so we can do another line. And okay, do we have N fifty one? 
Yes. Assalamu alaikum, Betty. How are you today? Good. Good, mashallah, alhamdulillah. Okay, so you um, do you understand what I explained about how the letter shape changes? Yes. Well done, excellent. So could you read this letter for me where my palm is? Sa. Sa. It's like sa, like thing sa. in English. Sa. 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 Yeah, you have to put your, your tongue next to your teeth and you have to say sa. 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 Well done. And the next letter? La. Wow. Wow. Excellent. Good girl. And the next letter? Ba. Excellent. Shabash. And do you recognize this letter? Ba. ba. Sorry, could you say that again? Ba. Ba. Well done. And this one, do you recognize this? We haven't covered this yet, but do you recognize it? Ein. Ein. Shabash. Very good. Next letter? Da. It's, got, da. it's got three da. dots. Da. Excellent. Good girl. Da. And this one? Ra. Ra, well done. And this? Ta. Ta, excellent. Shabash. And this last word? Fa. Fa, good girl. Ha. Ha, well done. Shabash. Ta. Dal. 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 Excellent. Good girl. And this last letter? Da. 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 Well done, Shabash. Excellent, excellent effort. Good girl, Shabash. So we have covered now these first four letters. So now when we look at these letters, we can understand that it is the dots which help us to recognize these different letters. The shape of each of them is the same when they are in words. But the dots will help us to know whether it is a ba, a ta, or a tha. Good, well done. Right, we are now going to go on to the next group of letters. Just a second. Okay, so the next three letters are jim, ha, and kha. Again, these letters will have the same shape as each other, as you can see. But the dot will tell us which letter it is. So in this first word here, if you see, we have jim. We know this is jim because the dot is underneath this shape. If you look at the main letter here, you can see that it is cut, if I show you here. It is cut here, but it is just half a letter. So when you put a gem in a word at the beginning, it is just half of the shape. And again in the middle, but at the end, it goes back to the full shape, okay? So let me now um, ask now, let me ask an atfal. Do I have any more atfal here? There are 26 participants today, mashallah. Okay, we have here, we had a, 27. A27, can you hear me? Assalamu alaikum. A27, can you hear me? Wa alaikum assalam, bitte. Can you hear me properly because your voice is a little crackly? Um, it, That's better. That's better. Um, I, yeah. can I can hear you now. Jazakal. Okay, so A, A27. Did you understand what I said about these three letters? Yeah. Excellent. Good. So could you please read this first line where you have to read the full letters for me? Okay. So what is this first letter? Jim. 
Excellent. Well done. And the next one, we haven't gone over this yet, but you may know it. Neem. Excellent. Shabash. And this last one? Lam. Well done. And the next line? Um, fa. Fa. Excellent. Ain. Ain. Excellent. Jim. Jim. Shabash. Excellent. Next one? Ba. Ba. Excellent. And this last? Do you know what this letter is? Ha. 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 Excellent. Well done. And the next letter? Jim. Jim. Shabash. And the last letter? Jim. Jim. Excellent. Well done. So you can see this last letter is the full Jim shape. And these two letters look the same. But how do we know the difference between these two letters? Can you tell me? Um, because they have the dot in the middle. Okay, which one has the dot underneath? Um, both. These two, excellent. These two have a dot underneath, so that shows they are the same letter. What about this letter? How do we know this is different? Because it doesn't have a dot. Excellent. So when you're reading, you have to recognize that this letter doesn't have a dot. Even though it looks the same, because it doesn't have a dot, it means it's a different letter. Well done. Can you read the next line for me, please, as well? Um, ha. Ha. Well done. Ra. Ra. Well done. Jim. Jim. Excellent. Next one. Um, ba. Excellent. Ba, because we did this just a second ago, so you recognize that. Well done. Ain. Have another go at this one. Um, ha. Ha. Well done, because it is the same shape in the top, yeah, as this one and this one. Okay, and this last letter? Ra. Ra, well done. Ba. Ba. Ra. Ra, and? Ha. Ha, well done, excellent. And should we try this last line quickly? Ha. 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 La. Good try, it looks a little bit like a lamb, but we covered this a second ago. Do you remember which letter this is? Um, oh dear. Um, Just a second. The screen has gone. Here we go. Do you remember which letter this is? What was um, this letter? Do you remember? Um, Aleph. Aleph. Excellent. Aleph. Well done. So... So this, after this kh is alif. Well done. And this letter? Ba. Ba. Next letter? Sin. You know this one? Sin. Excellent. Kha. Kha. And? Ra. Excellent. And the last one? Za. Do you want to have another go at this one? We haven't done it yet, but maybe you can have another guess. Um... It's noon, and we'll go over noon in a second. This is noon. And, and this ha. Ba and? Ha. Excellent. Well done. Very good. Shabash. Okay. So can you tell me your number again? A. 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 Twenty-seven. Excellent. Thank you. Jazakallah. Thank you very much. Jazakallah. Okay. So now we're going to go on to the next set of letters. Now, this is dal and dal. As you can see, the shape of dal and dal doesn't change very much. Okay. It changes a little bit when you're joining it in the middle, but when you have the dal and the dal at the beginning of a word, the shape remains 
the same. If you are joining in the middle of a word or at the end of the word, the shape becomes slightly more rounded. Okay? Again, we can tell the difference between these two letters because of the dot on the the. Right? So now I'm going to have another NASA to quickly read these letters for me. Let's see who we have not had yet. Okay. N39. N39, can you hear me? Yes. Assalamu alaikum, N39. Welcome. Did you understand what I explained about dal and dal? Yes. Excellent. Good. So you can see in the middle of a word, the shape sometimes changes if it is connected, right? At the end of the word, again, if it is connected to another word, then it changes. There are some letters that it can't connect to, like wow or alif, and then the shape will remain the original shape, okay? So could you read these, these two lines for me quickly? What's this one? Tall. Good. Alif. Good. Ra. Excellent. Well done. Neem. Shabash. Dal. 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 Excellent. And this one? Jim. Dal. And? Excellent. Good. And can you read this one for me? Fa. Good. Za. Zal. 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 Remember to make a... Put your teeth, your tongue on, next to your teeth and say, Val. 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 Like you would say, that in English. You make a TH sound with that. It's the same. Val. 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 Well done. Lam. Lam. Shabash. Well done. Ka. Kaf. Well done. And this last one? Ale. Good. Shabash. Ain. Ain. Excellent. Wow. Good, well done. Val. 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 Excellent, well done. Can you repeat your number for me, please? N39. N N39. Well done, Jazakala N39. Beautifully read, read, well done. Okay, so we've read now. Mashallah, we have got through quite a few letters. We have started at Alif, Ba, Ta, Tha. Jim, Ha, Kha, Dal, and Dal. So we are now going to go on to the next letters. Right. This is Ra and Za. Again, the shape of these two letters remains the same at the beginning of the word. Okay, it also remains similar in the middle of the word. You just have a line which would connect it to the first letter. The same is the rule for the end of the word. Okay, you cannot connect a letter next to the ra if it is at the beginning. Okay? The way that we recognize the difference between these two letters again is the dot. Ra and za has a dot on the top. Okay. So let's have, we'll have an atfar now, inshallah. Let's have, there are more Nasrat in our class today than atfar. Okay, A26. A26, can you hear me? Assalamualaikum. Wa alaikum assalam, how are you? Hi. Good, alhamdulillah. Okay, did you understand what I said about the ra and the za? Yeah. Yes. What is the difference between the ra and the za? Can you tell me one difference between them? The in the middle and 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 the and at the beginning the has nice the same excellent well done they're the same good and what how do we know that this is a za and this is a ra what what's here what's on top of the za that isn't on top of the ra can you tell me a dot 
Excellent. Good boy, Shabash. So I'm just going to ask you a couple of these and you can, you can read them for me. TK? So can you tell me what this letter is? Ba. Excellent. Good. And this one? Ra. Excellent. And this one? Ja. Excellent. Well done. And can you tell me this one? Ja. Excellent. And this one? Wow. Good. Excellent. And this one? Ra. Excellent. So from this lesson, we can see that we have za and ra, and you're not joining them. And also, there's another letter which can't be joined, which is a wow, which we'll come to in a minute. Shabash, well done. And this one? Mim. Excellent. And? Za. And? Ya. And? Dal. Excellent. Well done. And this last one? Jim. Good. Well done. I don't know what that is. Okay, this is a new one. We haven't done this yet. I'll explain this to you. This is a ha. Ha. Tika? Good. And this one? Za. Excellent. Shabash. Well done, Betty. Very nicely read. Mashallah. Okay. Shall I? I'll go through with you the next two letters as well. So this is a... Do you remember this letter? You know what this one is? Excellent. Seen. Shabash. And this one? Sheen. Excellent. And what is the difference between these two letters? How do we know which one is seen and which one is sheen? Because seen has no dots on top of it, but the sheen has three dots on top of it. Three dots. Very good. Well done. So that means you understand that both of these shapes are the same, but the dots are different. Okay. So when these two letters come in words, we have to cut off this big circle here and just have these first shapes which looks a little bit like a W. Okay, so this is how we know that this is seen and the way we know that this is sheen is because we have three dots on top. Good, well done. If you're at the beginning of a word, you will have this shape. Hi. And if you're in the middle of a word, you have this shape. And if you're at the end of the word, you have the full Seen shape. Okay, so Betty, could you read this one for me, please? Seen. Excellent. Uh, uh, ein. Ein, Shabash. Ra. Excellent. Da. Excellent, good. Next. Ya. Excellent, good. Seen. Do you know what this one is? Hamza. Hamza, excellent, Shabash. And? Lam. Good, well done. And this one? Ba. Ba. Sheen. And? Ra. Excellent, well done. You are A26, yes? Yes. Good, Shabash, Jazakal A26. Very, very good, mashallah. Okay, now I just want all of my students just for a second because it gets quite tiring sitting. Can you all just stand up? Just stand up wherever you are. Stand up nice and straight. And then look right. And look up at the ceiling. And look left. And look down at the floor. Look back at the screen. And sit down again. Good. Jazakallah. Thank you very much for doing that. It just makes, makes everybody a little bit fresh because it's quite a lot of work to read all these letters and to understand all of this information. Jazakallah. Thank you very much. Okay. We are now on to um, Saad. Okay. So, again, Saad has this shape. And if you just cut off the circle from both of these, then you will see how the letter looks at the beginning of a word. Okay? Swad. And again, dod. Again, the same shape. So in the beginning, in the middle, and at the end you have the full letter. Okay? And again, for the dod. Right? Okay, we'll also go on to ta and za. Again, this shape is not difficult because it maintains the same shape 
in the beginning, the middle, and the end of a word. It doesn't change. So the way that you will know the difference between these letters is again the dot. Okay? And with ta, you have the line because often students get confused between ta and saad. So you have to remember ta has the line and saad doesn't have the line. Okay? So I am now going to ask um, another Nasrat, please. N57. Assalamu alaikum, N57. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Can you hear me, Betty? Yes. Good. Well done. Did you understand about the different shapes again? Yes. Excellent. Good. So could you just read some of these for me? What is this one? Saad. Excellent. Aleph. Good. Ra. Excellent. Mim. Good. Saad. Ra. Excellent. Mim. Ha. Ha. Good. Saad. Good. Well done. And here? Ya. Excellent. Taad. Good. Ain. Fa. Shabash, mashallah. Well done. And this one? Mim. Mim. Ha. Ya. Ta. 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 Good. Well done. And the next one? Za. Good. Do you know this ha. one? Ha. Sorry? Ha. Fa. Fa. Good. Well done. Ra. Good. Aleph. Za. Ba. Good. Well done. Ra. Excellent. And this last one? Ta. Good. Rain, Shabash. We haven't done that yet. Well done. Good try. Excellent. Ya. Za. 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 Well done. Jazakallah. Tell me your number again, please, Bette. N57. Well done. Jazakallah N57. Very nicely read, mashallah. Okay. Mashallah. Okay, so now we're going to go on to the next letters. And I know a lot of you have done this already, but this is a recap because sometimes when we are joining letters and joining words, these letters can get confusing when they're in the middle of lots and lots of words. So if we recognize these shapes very, very clearly at the beginning, it becomes very easy when we go on to read more difficult letters in the Holy Quran. And also, the, all of these words which are taken here are words which are in the Holy Quran. So we are also becoming familiar with all of the different words which are in the Holy Quran at the same time as learning the different shapes of the letters. Okay? Now, this is a letter which often some adults and children get confused when they see this letter in the Holy Quran when it's in lots of different words. So this is Ein and Rein. Okay, and we can see that the shape remains the same if it is at the beginning of a word, but the semicircle here is cut off. Okay, if it is at the end of the word, it maintains the full shape. When it is in the middle of a word, it becomes slightly different. Okay, so the iron shape turns the other way. Right, so this is the one sometimes people have difficulty with because it sometimes gets confused with jim, the jim shape or the kha shape because it is quite similar to that shape. But we have to recognize that this is a smaller shape than kha where we have the long line. Okay? If you look here, we have kha, but we have a long line here. But with rain, we have a very small line. So that should help us to recognize that this is kha and this is rain. Okay? So if I can now have um, uh, 
Okay, A21, please. A21, can you hear me? Yes. Assalamu alaikum, Bette. How are you? Good. Alhamdulillah, that's good. So, did you understand about the Ain and the Ghain? No, not a bit. Not really? Okay, so this is, you know, this letter is Ain? Yes. And you know, this letter is Ghain? Yes. Okay, so when you have ayn at the beginning of a word, can you see how the shape changes? Yes. And you can see the same with the ghain? Yes. Yes. And you see in the middle of the word how the shape changes? Yes. Good. And in the middle of the ghain? Mm, yes. Yeah, you can see how this shape is different from this main shape. Yes. Yes, good. Shabash. And you see at the end of the word that the letter remains in a full state. Can you see that? Yes. Yes. And this is rain in the full state. Can you see that? Yes. Okay, excellent. So could you read this for me, please? Rain. Shabash. Mean la. Ra. Well done. Excellent. Good. And last one? Mim. Ain. Excellent. Shabash. And this next line? Rain. Arif. Fa. La. Ra. Well done. Mim. Rain. Alif, Noon, Meem. Excellent. And this? Fa, La, Alif, Rain. Excellent. Shabash. Jazakallah. So this is um, A21, yes? Yes. Excellent. Jazakallah A21. Very nicely read. Mashallah. Okay, so now we're going to go on to another letter which sometimes can get confusing, or two letters, which is fa and qaf. Okay, so you can see that the shape of the fa just cuts off the end of the line here when you have it at the beginning of the word. And the same is with the qaf. If you look in the middle of the word, the shape changes slightly and it has a center hole as well. So here it is a full block here of color, and here it is has a center hole. And the same is at the end of a word. It has a center hole as well. Okay? So the shape is the same as the initial letter, but there is a little hole in the middle of the letter. Here and here. And if you look again at the qaf, we have again a hole in the middle when the qaf comes in the middle of a word. And again, it takes its full shape at the end of the word. Sometimes we get confused because the fa has one nukta or one dot and the qaf has two dots. So we have to remember that one dot is for the fa and two dots is for the qaf. Okay, so if I can now have another nasrad. Uh, Assalamu alaikum, N52, can you hear me? Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam, how are you, Bete? Okay. Did you understand about the fa and the qaf? Yes. Good, so could you read this word for me, please? Fa. Good. Ha. Ha, well done. And this one? Ha. Shabash. Fa. Fa. Excellent. Well done. And this one? Ha. Can you see this letter here? Qaf. Qaf. Well done. Wow. Me. Excellent. You know this letter again? Meme. Meme. Excellent. Good girl. And this one? Meme. Qaf. Qaf. Alif. Alif, well done. Meme. 
Shabash. And this last one? Alif. Lam. Ha. Ha. Ka. Ah, excellent. Well done. So you understand all of those letters, mashallah. Okay. Right. We now are coming to the end, the end of our letters. Betty, do you know this letter? Uh, yeah. What's this letter? Kaf. Kaf. Excellent. Good. And this one? Lam. Good. Well done. So can you see here now? But the kaf, again, has the same shape as the original letter, but the tail is cut off. And the same is with the lam. The end line is cut off, but the original line is the same. So when you have kaf in the beginning of a word, in the middle of a word, and then at the end of a word, you have the original letter form. With lam, again, you have this section cut, and lam at the beginning of the word, in the middle of a word, and the end of a word, you have a full lam. Okay, so could you read me this one again? Ka. Good. Ta. Good. Pa. Excellent, well done. And this one? Ya. Excellent. Ka. Good. Ta. And? Pa. Excellent. And this one? Um, seen. Excellent. Shabash. Lam. Good. Well done. Mean. Excellent. Shabash. So this is um, N52. N yes? Jazak labete. Well done. Shabash. Okay. So now... We have these last letters starting from, hang on, let me move this up. Okay, so we have these last letters coming up now. So meme maintains its shape at the beginning and at the end of a word. In the middle of a word, it becomes slightly different that the center hole is blocked up. Okay, noon, this looks very similar to the shape of ba, tha, and ta. But we know that this is nun because it has the dot on the top of the letter. Again, in the middle, the dot on the top of the letter. And at the end, you have the full form. Okay? With wow, wow doesn't change its shape at all, if you see. You have it by itself at the beginning of the word. In the middle of a word, you can join it to the letter before it. And at the end of the word, it maintains its full shape. Okay? So, if I can have, again, I'll have now, are there any other atfal? A22. Assalamu alaikum, A22. Can you hear me? Assalamu alaikum, A22, can you hear me? A22, can you hear me? Okay, A22 can't hear me. Uh, so let's have, um, or I can't hear him. A21. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam, bete. How are you? Good. Alhamdulillah, that's good. So could you just read uh, this line for me here? Neem, Aleph, Lam. Excellent, well done. Meem, Ha. Ha, well done. Meem, Dal. Excellent, well done. And this one? Seen, Noon, Noon. Excellent, good. Ya. Wow, meme, noon. Excellent. Shabash. Wow, alif, meme, la. Excellent. Well done. And can you tell me your number again? A21. A21. Excellent. Jazakallah. Thank you very much. Okay. So.
Right. So we are now on our last three letters. Okay. So this letter is ha. Now ha's shape changes quite a lot when we are reading the grammar jeep. As you can see, it is a circular shape here, but when it is at the beginning of the word, it becomes a slightly different shape. So we have to recognize that this is ha, and it is the same letter. In the middle of the word, again, it becomes a slightly different shape. It's a little bit like half of a butterfly, but it is the same letter, it is a ha. And at the end of a word, again, the shape changes. Okay, so this ha, we have to remember that the ha changes its shape at the beginning, in the middle, or when it is at the end of a word. Okay, and then we have hamza, which doesn't change its shape at the beginning or the end. In the middle of a word, it will have a line, a point, and it will sit on top of that point. But it's still the same hamza. And lastly, we have ya which does change its shape in the beginning and the middle. It has, again, it has this shape like ba and tha and tha and also noon, but it has two dots underneath. At the end of the word, it maintains the full shape. Okay, so if we can have um, another Nasrat, let's see who hasn't spoken today. N30, can you hear me? Assalamu alaikum, N30. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum, Peter. Did you understand what I said about the ha shape? Yes. Good, Shabash. So could you read this to me? Ha, la. What, which shape is this? Do you remember which letter this is? Alif. Excellent, good. Ha, alif. Dal, ya. Um, and alif. Alif, well done. Okay, and this one? Ya. Good. Ha. Good. Dal. Dal, well done. And ya. Excellent. And this one? Reem. Noon. Ha. Excellent. Could you read this one now? Sa. Seen. Seen. Hamza. La. Lam. Lam. Excellent. And this one? Ya. Alif. Saad. Meme. This is a meme. It looks very much like a saad, but the saad is slightly a different shape. Let me show you. One second. You can see the saad is a longer shape here. Yes, okay. that is a longer shape. And the yeah. meme. A little bit shorter. It's a little shorter. Excellent. Good. See, you see, it's a little bit shorter and it doesn't have a line at the end. So, yes. yeah, I live meme and. Ra. Ra. Well done. And this one? Ta. Ain. It has one dot on the top. Do you know which one that is? Um, I think it is. Um, ka, no. Rain, rain. Excellent, okay. good. Ta, rain. Ya, zot. And? And alif. Alif, well done. And who am I speaking to? Can you tell me your number again? Um, I'm N30. Well done, N30. Jazakallah. Very, very good. Well done. Okay. Jazakallah. Okay, let me just N30. Okay. Jazakallah everyone today. You read really, really well. I know some of you already know all of these letters really well, mashallah. But it's always good to keep practicing these letters because when they come in words like that we're seeing here, it can sometimes get confusing for us when we are reading lots of words together. So here they are in colors and it makes it easier for us to understand. So our class is just coming to an end now. We are just going to have a look at this last dua. For when we finish reading the Quran, 
and we finish any learning of the Quran, we should say this to us. So can everybody please repeat after me today? Oh Allah, dispel all my fears in my grave. Oh Allah, have mercy on me through the great Quran. Make it for me the leader, the light, the guidance and the mercy. Oh Allah, remind me of what I forget from it and teach me what I do not know of it. Grant me its recitation during the hours of the night and the day and make it a witness in my favor, O Lord of all the worlds. Jazakallah everybody for um, your beautiful participation today. And inshallah, um, you will have your homework this weekend, which is to revise all of the letters. And please keep reading all of the letters in their different positions as well, which is on the online worksheet. So inshallah, I will speak to you again next week. Allah Hafiz. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.